Hey everybody, <laughs> Jim Tent, Jim Tory again here. Let me. Uh, there we go. So, still, still an analog edit. Um, I really apologize for that. But uh, let me actually do this so I can get some light. Still an analog edit because of good things. Actually, here we go. Got the uh, middle school hair going this weekend, which is kind of crazy. Okay, I'm done. So, still an analog edit, because uh, computer's still being weird, I haven't had a chance to try to fix iMovie. If any of you are IT people and you know how to get iMovie back onto your computer after you've deleted it, and you don't really feel like resetting the factory settings, and you didn't buy iMovie because it came with the computer, let me know. Okay, so yeah, that's why we're still Still an analog edit. Big things though. So I was working on some projects, uh, mainly the uh, the kids' craft center for my daughters, and um, I got the tall cabinets done. I'll show you here in a second. But those um, are being kicked. That can that can is being kicked on the road. So basically, those are going to be April or May. I got the two tall cabinets done. It's basically um, like 16 inch wide, floor to ceiling cubbies. Uh, for toys and things, and then there was going to be a craft table across between them, drawing center, um, and that was actually pretty cool. There's going to be like a slot for crayons and things, so they can just push them in, and then they would fall into the top drawer of a stack of drawers between the girls where their knees go. So that's still going to happen, but I'm not going to make a video for it. I might um, do some progress, obviously, on Instagram, but I don't have time to uh, do a video of that because um, i got a list here. Because I just got a big job, um, my first my first big job actually, um, which is great. I'm really excited. It's a little bit um, uh, a little bit anxious about it to be honest. It's a, it's a lot of work, but I feel like it's totally within my scope, except for some of my tools. So because I'm going to be ordering 250 board feet, well, like 15 to 20 boards of either like maple or maybe white oak, um, two inches thick, eight inches plus. Uh, eight feet long, maybe ten footers. I'm gonna be ordering those this week for that job. Um, my planer and joiner aren't quite up to the task, so I actually just sold my 13-inch rigid benchtop planer yesterday on Craigslist. That's gone, uh, and it's getting replaced on Wednesday with a brand new Grizzly 15-inch um, spiral cutter head uh, stationary planer. So that's awesome. And then um, the jointer. Uh, that little guy, I'm working on selling him. He's got a lot of interest, but people either aren't showing up to see it or, or it's not quite what they expected. They didn't, they see, there's a picture on the Craigslist that I don't know. So it should sell pretty quick though. So if any of you are in the Midwest in Michigan, especially, and you want a joiner, um, want to step up your game a little bit, uh, get into finishing your own wood. I'm selling one. It's a six inch, um, six inch Delta Rockwell. Uh, I think it's like three quarter horse. I'm trying to see if I have my tape measure. I don't think I have my tape measure, but it's probably a 40 inch, 40 inch bed. Um, I put a new switch on it, and I just replaced the key for the top pulley. It's a two inch pulley. That key shredded. So it's running good now, though. Uh, so anyway, new tools. So that guy's getting replaced with an eight inch Grizzly. Not a spiral cutter head, but, um, but bigger nonetheless. So both of those machines are 240, which means I'm running 240 on uh, the wall by the door where I come in. There is 240 in the breaker panel, but I don't have an outlet. So an outlet's going there. And maybe on this end too, because I think the joiner is still gonna live over here. Um, but during that project um, that I have coming up, it's actually gonna live probably along the garage doors, just because I need eight feet of in and out feed. So 16 feet, there's not many ways in my shop that 16 feet of in feed, out feed com combination can happen. So, um, that said, that also has to take into account some dust collection. So this guy is actually up and running really well. Um, it's not plumbed on the wall yet, but in the time being, I can do this when I'm cutting on my table saw. Oh, you know, just hook up the hose, and that thing works like a gem, dude. That, that thing is awesome. So it's the Super Dust Deputy uh, Harbor Freight Two Horse Dust Collector, Industrial Dust Collector. Um, into a 35 gallon fiber drum underneath. Um, and I actually might get a second fiber drum. Maybe we'll talk about this later, but um, I had this idea in my head, like maybe if I'm doing like plywood and MDF, 
I have one bin just for collecting that stuff. And then if I'm collecting hardwood, I have a second bin because my mom's a big gardener and she'd like some of that for her compost, like the actual hardwood. And I'm thinking of doing some sort of a barrel stove or some kind of small little, small little like stove next winter. Because Look at this, it's February, it's like 45 degrees out here in Midwest Michigan. Um, so next winter though, it'd be nice to burn some sawdust and heat this place with that. So anyway, dust collection, if any of you guys have any ideas, I'm going to go along this wall to the, to the joiner, bandsaw, maybe drill press, and then it's going to take a right and go along this back wall here where the camera actually is to my miter saw and radial arm saw. And then just because the planer and jointer that are coming are going to be over this area of the shop because there's more space, as soon as that duct comes along the wall, I'm going to shoot up with a Y and then across and down. Um, so basically, if you're looking at the floor plan, there's going to be an L for most of the tools, but there's going to be a random like pipe going across the middle of the shop. Maybe I'll um, post a link to something in, in the description down below. I will think I'll do that. It should work, and I think the pipe going across the ceiling isn't a big deal, and it's temporary. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. What's on my list here? Big job, less content. So because of this big job, um, I'm not going to be able to do videos like the Craft Center. Um, I just don't have time. So I am going to keep up these weekly shop updates. I want to still have feedback on, on certain things. I love when you guys respond. I love hearing about ideas that people have or how they do things differently. And that's especially why I like Instagram. Instagram is fantastic for that. Instagram is so cool. I love Instagram. So, um, but YouTube's great. So I'm going to keep these shop updates coming along. They might become more frequent, but definitely not less frequent. I might, once I start getting tools in 220, it'd be kind of fun to just say, look what I did and make like a four minute video on like a Wednesday night and then still do my weekly update on Thursday or Friday um, or Sunday. Um, just so I can keep you guys up to date, like when I get really excited about stuff, because it's a pretty exciting time for me. My shop's going to go through the biggest growth period that it's ever been in. Um, you know, some big tools happening. So, um, so that's good. Hopefully it doesn't have to be analog shop updates though. I'm going to try to figure that out pretty soon. So let's walk around the shop and uh, show you guys what's up. So camera's on my table saw now. Check this out. So, ready alarm saw. It's running really well. It's not perfectly square. It's off by a sixteenth, I think, at the end. But really, I'm just using it for cutting long stuff down. Stuff that um, stuff long and really wide stuff that my uh, miter saw can't do. This guy's getting close. I'm just dialing in, getting these two fences to line up, and then I got to add the last fence um, over to your, the left here along the back wall. Uh, it's a catch-all right now, but check this out. So the dust collection will come along this wall. It'll drop down and then take a right along this back. So if the fence is going to be like 13 inches off the front, there's going to be a box here and inside that box will be a stretch of the DWV piping I have up there in my dust collection, or oh, I'm sorry, wood storage. Um, that'll shoot off two, two little dust hoods for those two saws. So that's great. Um, wood storage is going really well. I need to organize them a little bit, but these guys are killer. So what I decided to do is actually build a lot more. So what I did, I had my buddy Brock, he was in town. He decided to come over and uh, help me out. So three more here, three more here. These things are so sturdy. It's that Frank Howard design. I love it. Um, there's a bracket in the middle for another one. We ran out of supplies. So today, actually, I'm going to do a third row. So I'm going to have a total of nine of those arms off the wall, and it'll be three rows. So that's all going to be storage for that really heavy two-inch thick material for that job I got coming up. So that's exciting. Um, here's that tall cabinet. Let's see if I can give you a better view. Uh, yeah, basically for the ceiling. I think it's 82 inches. That's how, uh, how tall the soffit drops down in my basement. Um, 12 and 3 quarter inch cubbies for the little baskets I bought and the bottom one is 24 inches tall and that'll be for um, my kids that'll be for my kids like larger toys giant stuffed animals and some plastic castles and things like that so the other one's already built it's already in the basement but just kind of in the storage room it's actually already been faced in red oak basically I cut off these little strips tack and glue um, this one I'm not going to do that though. I'm kicking that can until, you know, April or May, whenever I can. 
So I'll finish those at that time. Um, oh, look at this. So other thing I got going on, it's been busy, you know, ramping up for these jobs. I am starting um, drawers, uh, just half inch sanded plywood. These are gonna be for the cabinets. And I already hung drawer slides back there. I found a bunch of drawer slides cheap like a year ago and I got, I think I got 10 pairs of 24 inch slides. That's why they're cheap because they're 24 inches and really strange size. But um, I forgot I had this box of 22s, which is perfect. So I'm uh, building some boxes. Um, actually used my router table extension wing for this rabbit, or I'm sorry, dado, which works pretty well. Um, so that's happening today. The, actually the third cabinet right there is going to be a stack of drawers. Um, probably two, like five inches or whatever it is um, at the top, and then a really big one at the bottom, and that is just going to be, it's going to be bigger, but it's just going to hold sanding stuff. So I'm going to have um, random orbital sander and uh, belt sander uh, down there with the discs and, and belts. So just a little bit of storage, you know. Um, let's go look at the dust collection here. I can show you. Whoa, sorry about that. So this has been awesome. This is really exciting for me. Um, Super Dust Deputy. It's got a little bit of a jog doot, 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 right in there, but that's okay. Once this stuff's taped in with that aluminum tape, that is solid. This is just some experimenting with uh, what direction I was going to go, but what I'm going to do is the dust is going to take a left. Oh, come on. The dust is going to take a left out and then a right down the wall. So really, it's going to look like that and then that. That schedule 40 will just go along the wall with dropouts for each tool. So this is going well. I mean, I got all my hangers here and hose clamps and tape and I'm running its own 110 uh, outlet for it because it's going to have its own breaker. So that's got to come over. That's probably today actually. Um, yeah, it's huge. It's crazy. There's so much going on. Um, but it's the calm before the storm. I'm going to have 9 inch by 9 inch nine and a half feet long hand hewn barn beams from the 1860s in here six of them you'll hear more about this project later and then i'm gonna have 250 board feet of hardwood probably white oak or hard maple maybe i'll push for soft maple i don't know um for shelving it's all for a restaurant here in grand rapids we you know we love uh, our beer scene and so it's a it's a really killer beer garden that's going to be opening up and I was lucky enough to have an opportunity to bid on it, and he said, yeah, give me the go-ahead. So stuff's rolling, tools are ordered, and wood's ordering this week. Um, it's just nuts. Oh, check this out too, sorry. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit ADD when it comes to this stuff. Um, who was it, Jay Bates? Uh, I think it was Jay Bates. This is four inch drain pipe from Menards. It stays in your shape. It goes out to eight feet. I mean, look at this. Here's a typical Y from from Woodcraft. Boom! Look at that. Oh my gosh! Five bucks. <laughs> I think it was Jay Bates that found this stuff. It's awesome. So, you know, I did buy uh, some forage pipe from Woodcraft. I might just be returning it. I guess we'll see. This stuff is sweet. I bought three of them. I'm probably going back for more. Five dollars. Okay. That's why these communities are so cool. That's why people on Instagram and, and YouTube are so great because we're, we're not all here spending a ton of money to set up our shops. And every once in a while, you know, you hear about guys having windfalls and, and a big project, like I'm getting some of these tools. It's so cool. But people are kind of scrappy and, you know, say, why are we spending $30 on a four inch pipe um, when you can just get something like this and it does the same thing? So I love it. You guys, you guys uh, are great. I love YouTube, I love Instagram. Keeps me going every day, I swear to God. So, I'll see you in a week, maybe less, but it's crazy around here, and I, I apologize for the analog editing, and I apologize for the long delays between videos. I try to do every Thursday or Friday, now it's Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Go Broncos, I kind of adopted them as my football team when I lived in Colorado for a few years because I was raised with the Lions. I can't help it. Um, but Tigers, Tigers are always my team. All right, guys, let's see here. Give me in focus before I sign off. Look at that. 
That's like, this is like eighth grade Jim Tory. Jimmy, Jimmy Tory in eighth grade. Um, you guys have a good Super Bowl Sunday. Party safe and work safe. And if you're partying, don't work. See you guys soon.